Good day, welcome to Career and Trainings right here on Afia TV, DS3 channel 254 and Go TV channel 17. On Career and Trainings, we bring you professionals from different spheres of life, different careers, and they try to tell us what it, it takes to be exceptional in this career, also to help young people make decisions on their career choices. I am the former Jimobi, your host. We always try to bring interesting discussions here to you and go in depth in understanding what it takes to excel on various careers. I mean, in various careers. And we are bringing this live to you from the city of Enugu, the coal city. Yes, digital marketing is one phrase or word a lot of people are so common with or used to um, this time. And whether it's digital marketing, social media marketing, what exactly is it? But we'll try to understand it on the show today and to help us bring, you know, insights on this particular very popular phrase, word or say career opportunity, we will be having Kingsley Mosu of DJ Smilers, Smilers DJ right here in the studio. Kingsley, how are you? Mr. Smiles, right? Yeah, Mr. Smiles. Okay, Mr. Smiles. Yeah. Where did you get that? Oh, <laughs> get that from? <laughs> okay. You know, and I was I was looking at is it Digi Smiles now? Yeah, Smiles Digital. Smiles Digital. Yeah. Um, is digital smiling or something? <laughs> oh, okay, okay. Actually, um, um, people actually think that digital marketing is, is very tough. Okay. Okay. So and um, the the brand name actually came after I did a training. And they were like, wow, that is beautiful. That they feel they can actually engage more. Okay. And also learn more. Okay. Because they thought it's something they can't even exercise their passion on. So secondly, they were like, I hardly smile. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Oh. So more like I'm always serious during <laughs> okay. trainings. All right. So it, 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 it got to me that I had to now start working on that. Okay. So whenever they ask me, why smile is it? I say, the smile is not for me. It's for you. So why are you learning? You smile. <laughs> <laughs> so do you smile better now? Yeah, I'm trying. Okay. Yes, I'm trying. <laughs> All right. So yeah. we will be doing this with um, Kingsley also of um, Smileless Digital. Well, we will be seeing smiles in the digital sphere right here. But just before we go ahead to, you know, go into our discussions proper, we'll bring you our career tip. All right. Our career tip says, Talent is not enough. You need training to hone your skills. Talent is not enough. All right, does this connect with you in any way, Kinsley? Talent is not enough. What do you what do you have to say about that? Yeah, I've been there before. I've been there before. Talent is not enough at all, especially in this 21st century. Mm, somehow, somehow, if you are basically if you basically want to lean on your talent, you, you will be somehow outdated. In fact, let me use the word a cake. Okay. Yeah. Do you think someone who trains better but is not too talented can do well more than someone who's talented but is not training enough? What do you think? Okay, I think um, if you want to do better, you need to you need to be talented. That's where creativity comes in. Okay. With your skill. I get to me. So whether you can train and you're not talented and you 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 have the talent but you don't have the skills. There will still be a default. There will still be an error somewhere. There will still, still, yes. still be an issue yes. somewhere. Yes, you need to balance the two. Okay, let me take for example, you can't tell me that um, you're actually addressing an audience and you can't even notice when they are not following. That means you don't have a personal relationship skill or communication, good communication skill, that kind of stuff. So you need to balance the two. Okay. Yeah. Though I, I think some people feel that training can really take you far. So whether you have talent or not, yeah. I mean, some people think I have the talent, so I don't need training. Do you understand? They relax. But if you are training to your talent, I mean, it takes you overboard. Exactly. That's actually what that tip is saying. Wow. Talent is not enough. Yes. Do you understand? So yes. don't just relax that, oh, I'm talented. Exactly. You know, and you're not honing your talent, your skills, you're not sharpening it. Yes. You think because you're talented. Now, I mean, there are so many examples of very talented people, but when you go behind the scenes, 
they are training and working really hard exactly. to become some of the great stars and names that we hear about today. Yeah. So our career tip says talent is not enough. You need to add trainings and a whole lot more. Even mentorship, coaching comes in place. Of to course. It. Of course. All right. Yeah. So we're going to go straight ahead to discuss digital marketing, social media marketing, understanding okay. that. What are the basics to start with? And um, we, when you talk about social media marketing, digital marketing, who is that? You know, and how can people run profitable or rewarding careers from you know, this particular space? Okay, you know, you've asked uh, several questions, so I'll just uh, take them one after the other. First and foremost, um, when it comes to the digital marketing space, it's actually a wide market. It is. Yes. Yeah, so um, for you to do well, you need to cover your niche when it comes to digital marketing. So you have affiliate marketing, you have uh, email marketing, you have uh, uh, social media marketing, and so on and so forth. So you need to actually know where your base is and where you can do well. And in our context today, most people engage in social media marketing. In as much as every other aspect of digital marketing evolves around it, are you getting me? So you should have that core. Okay, so um, the basics of social media marketing is just for you to understand your brand, then um, train yourself. You need to work on training and then have a, 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 a content creation uh, style that you want to use. Because if you don't understand your audience, you will know when, where to actually start off. Sure, you, get, you train yourself both physically, mentally, and also uh, technically, yes. Um, I've seen a whole, if, if you go to stream there today, you see a whole lot of content. In fact, you can't exhaust them. In fact, today anything can be a content. But the fact there is that, whilst you are planning to do, replicate something someone has done, someone else has already done something more than that. So you need to actually be, learn how to be ahead of time. Are you getting me? So the basics is just for you to have a smartphone or a laptop and then create, cover a niche for yourself. Maybe you say, I want to be um, a teacher. I want to be teaching chemistry online, good. Then you start the basics from there, while you, uh, 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 you, you create content that has to do with teachings, and then you also add your talent to it, because you don't just, you, dealing with the physical world is different from dealing with the digital world, yes, and then you proceed with that. And then so, most times people get things and they keep posting on social media, posting on their various platforms, you have the Instagram, you have Facebook, you have LinkedIn, there are many, very many. Is that what makes someone a social media marketer? Mm, 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 mm. Not at all. That you actually have platforms and you are posting, it doesn't at all make you a marketer. Are you getting me? You are, you are just trying to do what others are doing. For you to be a social media marketer, you need to be trained. Like, it is a serious business. Even if you've covered your let's say some persons that are into physical products that sell stuff, the difference between creating a content for that product, posting it, and then marketing it. And for you to actually get the right market for your product in quote, you need to first understand your audience. Then understanding your audience will help you know the right niche. That is to know where what you're posting will go. Even when you want to run a, uh, run a campaign like an ad, are you getting me? Some people will just say, I've been running ads. I have some persons that have run ads, spend money, and it's not converting. And they'll be blaming the platform. No. You need to sit down, learn the strategy of how all these things work so that each time you are making a content and posting, it converts. So you get, in fact, a lot of persons have given up on some certain things when it comes to social media marketing. But the fact is that you don't know it, you don't know it. I don't want to do the right thing. So they just feel it's all about opening a social media account, posting, and then that's all. No. All right. to guess, right? So what is that difference? Who is the digital marketer? Who is the social media marketer? What makes the difference? Okay, now, um, a social media marketer is that person that actually aligns his uh, uh, career, his uh, business, to a particular niche. What I mean niche, I mean to a particular community that needs that product or that service. Now, this person needs to go as far as understanding what the audience need is. So what the audience says matters a lot. Their feedback matters a lot. Are you getting me? Their complaints and all. This person also is someone that needs to have, have patience. Are you getting me? Then develop quality brands for that product. 
For example, um, I think I've seen, um, what's it called, abacha, package, where you find abacha in any way. So let's say you're actually doing your own the normal way. There's a difference. There's a very big difference. Are you getting me? There's creativity in it. That's another thing. And then the person also needs to be updated at each point in time. That is where the training you mentioned comes in. That you have a brand, uh, a product that you're marketing through your brand doesn't mean that it ends there. In fact, if, if, if Mark, for example, decides to open more social media platforms like he did open Thread. Okay, when Thread came in, you know, a lot of persons jumped in. Yeah. So many of them have left Thread. To do. <laughs> they can't beat it. Okay. It takes the grace of God to actually carry one particular brand to diversify into a series of platforms. Okay. Yeah, so if you're not creative, just tell yourself, if it is Facebook, let me just stay there and grow. And that is the advice. Okay. Then in on career on, on, on the career basis, the social media marketer himself is actually the person that on a broad sense help others build their brand. Are you getting me? So if you actually want to address per person, you as a content creator can also be a social media marketer for your brand. That doesn't mean that being a social media marketer for your brand that you can market other people's brand. There are two different things. So you get. And also, uh, you are good in content creation doesn't mean that you are good in marketing those contents. Are you getting it? Okay. Yes. Okay. Yes. So you need to learn the strategy of how this thing works. All right. I have tried it for some persons and it works perfectly well. The summary of the whole thing is that if you don't understand who needs your service, even physically, you can't sell. All right. Yeah. Now, how, I mean, what did you, what made you go into this, you know, and you're taking it up, you're, you're doing it seriously. What made you go into it? And then you also do trainings on that. We'll yeah. talk about some of the okay. trainings you've done so far. Okay. Okay. Actually, um, I I saw myself in the um, career world, whereby I had to be forced to sell a product. That was some years back, and it was actually a sophisticated product. Uh, talking about solar materials, inverter panels, and stuff. So, it was very very difficult. So. It was on my seat, and I saw the, 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 the person I was working with brought in a digital marketer who was actually finding it difficult to sell those products. So there and then, I took, I in that same office, I took an online course, registered for the course on digital marketing without knowing what I was just doing. So there, I did uh, stock management, inventory management, so many things I did. And then the man started noticing some changes. So I told him, sir, I want to take up the responsibility of, uh, I said, code calling. That was how I started. So I was able to generate leads up to 300 contacts. That was the first assignment I gave myself. And then from there, we started getting some persons. So they are, they are, they are, the, the, the fight came up that the person couldn't... Just in case yes. someone's listening and they don't yes. understand what leads are. Okay. You said you were able to generate leads. What does yes. that mean? Okay, leads actually means that I was actually able to generate prospects that may likely patronize that product. Sure you get. So that's what lead means. Okay. Are you getting me? Yeah. Online, right? Yes, online. Yes, we were talking about um, your journey into this particular, yeah. you know, career field and sector. You know, so this is how you raise. You, I mean, you brought about three hundred leads, exactly. and then okay, and, and, and then we, we 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 started having battle. Okay, so between me and the person, the person that was actually brought yeah. in to yeah. Yeah. do the digital marketing. Yeah. So <laughs> at the long run, the person resigned. Okay. Yes, personal results. I mean, this in this in this matter is result people want to see. Yeah, exactly. And the good thing about social media marketing, I think, is that you see the results immediately, yes. right? Yes. If you you're doing to. the right things, you have to because um, at every point in time, the the, the there's what they call an algorithm. Algorithm. Okay? Yes. Yeah. Each of the social media platforms you use have what they call insights. Okay, that you click and see if your post is doing well. Are you getting me? Talking about engagement, you'll see your comments, your likes, your shares, and so. Then talking about the, the insight, you'll see the percentage rating of your content. And if, for example, if you had 100 views today, and tomorrow you had 80, it will reduce. Okay. Telling you that your energy was here before, but right now, it has gone down. Are you getting me? Okay. So at every energy level you attain, 
as you progress your 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 platform will always tell you that guy you were here before but now you are not doing well are you getting me yes so that is just the thing okay so tell us a bit about your trainings before okay. we round off the show our time is almost up um why did you go into trainings and how has that experience been okay yeah i i saw myself in the midst of uh, vendors let me use that word that we are finding it difficult to live with social media so i i actually started a free training for them i had over 100 and something online vendors that i never saw online vendors yes online training yes online training they actually most of them had their physical shops yes so it was still through the leads that they came in so we are doing back-to-back -back training for them. Some of them, we started opening accounts and stuff, and then they started utilizing their platforms and they started doing well. So that was through the online platform. Some of them started inviting me for physical trainings because I will tell you that, um, please, oh, this thing that you say we should press, we cannot press it. Can you come here? where we meet together so you show us how to press it that kind of thing so you see yourself getting to the point that you need to understand them like literally it's not an english speaking something it's something that you need to really understand what this person wants and show the person how to do it so you get it's not it's not uh, especially for people here within yes. Inigo who yes. are still catching on especially businesses right yes, yes. Okay. exactly exactly okay so that's it then talking about uh the trainings too even uh, on Saturday, so we 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 have some trainings that we are coupling up yes yeah, so we also did um last month online training that covers um series of things some also we had to teach uh we are training how to teach some people in the real estate sector how to maximize their sales. Yes, we also have training that taught people how to run Facebook ads um, and series of other training. So there's a demand for this, right? Yes, yes. And if you know what you're doing there, it's rewarding, right? Exactly. So some of the questions I would have asked you is whether it's rewarding, whether it's profitable, okay. and all of that. Okay, from this, I have a good news. The okay. good news is that um, by June... Uh, Nigerian Facebook is going to be monetized. Yeah, so people that actually do content on Facebook by June should be rejoicing because they're going to be eating huge. So it's no longer find someone that will help you uh, monetize your account outside the country. So we're going to be leveraging here. So it's a good thing. So people out there, if actually they've not been leveraging on their Facebook, they'll have to. Wow, that's good news, really. Yeah. And that's the talk right now exactly. on social media and exactly. um, the internet exactly. digital space yes. so you just heard it um facebook will be monetizing right in nigeria directly in case you're if you've been in this space and you're you're not earning from facebook this is a mega opportunity we will be rounding off on the show but just before we go off we want to have our book recommendation our book recommendation says understanding um, blogging or being a blogging professional and that's by Chuku Emeka Fred Abata. Now, um, I mean, it's one book you pick up and it gives you the basics on blogging. And of course, when we're talking about digital marketing, blogging yeah. is also another aspect. It's very vast and we will try to bring as much of it that we can on the show. Thank you very much. Your concluding words, Kingsley, just before we round off. Okay, um, all I can say to viewers out there is that if you've not started um, following up what's happening on the digital space, you need to actually wake up. That phone you are holding has a whole lot of money. It's not a rocket science, are you getting me? And there are people around you that can actually help you evolve and actually make money. All you need to do is just carve out a niche, you know what you want to do for yourself. Now your career, you can stay indoors and build it. There are audience, much more audience online than you're seeing physical. Right. There's so much more audience online than physical. And I think one of the things I like about the online space is that from here in Nugu to the whole wide global world, exactly. that's what digital marketing space, social media marketing space does for you. And if you know how to handle that space well, the number of bucks in different currencies you can ride on is unimaginable.
This is where we'll end the show, career and trainings, right here on Afia TV. Thank you for watching. I am a former Ajumobi Ifi Melody, and our guest has been Kinsley Woso. We've been talking about understanding digital marketing. Join us again next time for an amazing time.